uh, top tier status with Cami, or is he gonna go with something crazy like Ryu? No, it looks like he's gonna go with that Cami. Very interesting choice. I'm not a fan of this match, but I mean, uh, everybody that I talk to doesn't think this match is even remotely bad. They think it's pretty even, so let's see what Taco can do against Udo. Here we go. Obviously, Fei Long wins the footsie game, but if Cami can get the one knockdown on Fei Long, that's the big deal right there. And look at that, low strong to beat out Fei Long's move. I am going to be taking that. Taking that with me. And I'm gonna be joined here by Beirudi. How's it going? How's it going, James Chen? Everything's all good. We're straight into the match with Pudo versus Daco here. Nice punish on that back dash. I'm very surprised Daco really didn't go for the option select there. A lot of Fei Long's are very back dash happy. Good stuff. Oh wow. He could have kept going with that. Didn't quite confirm the one Rekka. One, two, gonna miss the third one. Oh, wow. Getting Udo. his pressure in the corner, and there it is. Good stuff. Fudo with no fear. He knew that Dako had two meters there, and he still went for that low forward. Or low short, sorry. Yeah, I mean, it was just one of those situations you kind of read the fear yeah. in Dako. And a lot of times, though, that fear does equate to uppercuts, but those usually come after, like, little moments of, like, pause, yeah. you know? Yeah. And I think Fudo knows, he, he has enough respect for Dako knowing that he probably wouldn't want to burn those two meters because yeah. he wants them for the next round. So, good footsie game here. Oh wow, the low strong there, that time winning. So in the, right at the beginning of the first round, Dako won with his uh, his low strong versus Fei Long's, which is, oh wow, look at that whip oh, on it. I like that, Fudo is, seems so strong at the Kami matchup and spacing the Kami matchup. We saw that with Chirithi earlier. I can't believe that low jab still reached after that low strong yeah, for that combo. Good block. You know that Fudo is definitely very prepared for this matchup. Wow. Oh, just tried to get some chip in there. Look at this. She's got zero vital. She's got to get one hit in there, and it's just going to be a low jab. And that's it. It's tough. Fudo knew there. You know, he, he, he was a little bit concerned. You know, there could have been a random ultra or, or whatnot, but just got in there. He could have easily went for a Rekka, but did not want to take any risks. Yeah. So. Taco's gonna think about it for a second. Wondering if he should stick with Cami. It looks like Xiao Hai is up there talking to him, giving some advice. Yeah. He is gonna stick with Cami, indeed. Yeah, I know, I know Daco plays a little bit of a DJ, mm -hmm. and he, we saw him you know, yesterday at the random select versus Justin Wong, and that guy knows setups is almost the entire cast. <laughs> it's incredible. Nice right. getting that focus in between the Rekkas. Faster focus attacks can get through two Rekkas if you can charge up to a level two. Fudo has some of the best reaction time. Ow! Wow, so much damage. TP's out of there. Fudo's sitting on two meters. Oh, oh no, that's a full punish. That's an execution error. He definitely yep. wanted low strong in the drill. Came yep. out with the wrong move, and look at that. Fudo taking three rounds in a row versus Dako, just like that. Again, like I said, I know a lot of Kami players don't think this fight is as bad, but I just feel like Fei Long outclasses Kami's normals. If you have, you know, a level of Fudo's spacing and footsies, it is very, very rough oh. for Kami to play what she wants. Good stuff. Right now, Dako making something happen oh. here. See, that's what Kami needs to do is get that knockdown and go for all those mix-ups. Oh, wow. Oh. That cross-up gets up from Fudo. Focuses through. Now. Good patience from Fudo to block that yeah. uppercut at ABC. Oh, is he going to get the... Oh, he didn't do the roundhouse one, so he couldn't have gotten the combo off of it. Yeah. Did get, he did get a counter hit there, but I don't think he can do much off that. Yeah, counter hit only applies to the first hit of the move. Yeah. So. Not like some other games with the counter hit. We'll oh, get wow, no, that's early. a Michael under, yes. Too early, no. Dako just needed to just needs, needed to delay that a little bit. Wait until he was on the way down. That was a great bait. Yeah. And there you see one of Cammy's good strengths there, that level two focus. She gets up to that oh, super nice. fast. I like that. Oh, here we oh. go, big damage. Full! This is still not it here. Damage. Oh, goes for a throw. Nice. There you go. That is how Cammy wins this match. Yeah. She gets that knockdown and then just blows you up. Time here, a little trade very, there. Very worth this. Very worth the trade. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Got to burn all that meter. That is such a win for Fei Long. Yeah. Getting Cammy to lose all of her meter. 
That's right, Faelong doesn't need to worry about too much on wake up here. Oh, nice cross up here by Daco. Daco is just really just masterfully using that crouch strong from Cammy. I am totally stealing that in my Faelong matches from now on. Oh, wow, nice cross under. I love it. Now, oh wow, gets the. Dizzy? Yeah, no, not quite yet. Oh wow, he went for something. No uppercut, but the stand roundhouse is going to take it, and there it is. Good stuff for Daco there. I think he was trying to blow up a crouch tech, but Fudo backdashed, yeah. and it was still a win-win situation for him. And I just got news, if you in case you guys are just only watching stream one, Justin Wong has defeated Chai Rithi in loser's bracket. Oh, wow. So he has not been 0-4'd by Kami's in this tournament, in this uh, weekend, I should say. Chai Rithi, one of Canada's best. Yeah. Sadly eliminated. Oh, got in there and a great bait off of that uppercut with the backdash to get that full punish. Pluto should be able to keep this combo going. Kami probably slight danger of Dizzy. Oh, good way to keep the pressure going by focusing that dive kick. Both players is burning their meter trying to save themselves from any damage they don't want right now. You can see right now, Fudo is looking for that low strong yeah. that w which has given Taco that much, yeah. uh, that much of an advantage. So he's trying to whip punish it. Oh wow! Ooh, no crumple. Ah! And then just fishing with the Rekka. A lot of times you do one Rekka, you kind of see what the opponent's doing, and you can kind of do like an advanced hit confirm. You yeah. Know? Like a predictive hit confirm. All right. Nice. Oh. Does that jab set up after the back throw. Yeah, catches the back dash. Thought he was going to get over with that dive kick. That's why he jumped in that direction. Unfortunately, jumped himself away. Didn't be, wasn't be able to get so, any momentum off of that. Pluto just slowly trying to pace him into the corner. Nice. Oh, frame trapped it. He went for it. He risked it. Oh, there's a full combo here. Ouch. What does Dako have here? Oh, oh same and side. Do it. No, not quite, but did, yeah. throw him. Okay. <laughs> Dude, that was so risky. If you see that move, just yeah. start focus. Yeah. <laughs> just focus and get your level three in Daco. Right now, on the verge of advancing to top eight on winners. If he can take this one, Fudo can do the same if he can take this round as well. This is anyone's game right now. Daco almost sitting on full super meter. So it can make a lot happen here for this last round. Yeah, if he gets that super meter, he could even start buffering those low strongs in the super. The super, exactly. Yeah. But he burns a lot of his meter just to get the uppercut, FADC uppercut. Great wow. punish! Backdash to avoid that situation. Trying to bait Daco into another uppercut. Fudo down on life here, doing an amazing job in this matchup. They're just trying to counter poke each Ooh. other. Ouch. Fudo here feeling very uncomfortable with his whip punish. And there it is again. Always buffering. Always buffering into the drill with yeah. those low strongs when he whips. He gets in that range where it's only going to counter poke. Oh, here we go. Oh! oh. Sako could have won right there if he just did EX Tiger Knee dive kick Gave him another into Ultra. Wow. That's a true block string. I don't see any camis ever use that, but that's enough life to drain off of that. Wow. There's been nothing you could have done about it. Now... Is anyone's match. This is gonna be okay. Oh, oh there it is wow. again. That Daco. low strong takes it. All right, that low strong changes a lot. Yeah. What's that? We had Justin here. Just come by, come by, and tell us he broke the Cami curse. <laughs> Good stuff. I am stealing that strategy from Daco. Yeah. 